Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So my Hindu rope plant is finally in bloom. The buds have not opened up yet, but they still look really cute. They have this really cute star shape and they are like a bubblegum pink color. And look how long the little stems are. I'm really nervous that I'm gonna like break this off, but I just wanted to share this with you. It's so beautiful. And if you're interested in getting your Hoya to bloom, I have some tips for you. This Hindu rope is outside, so if you live in a warm climate, I would recommend putting your Hoya in bright and direct light. So this plant is not receiving any direct sun rays. It's under an umbrella, and the sun is southern exposure, but the umbrella shades the plant from the actual sunbeams hitting the leaves. I actually have put a previous Hindu rope in direct sun and it got scorched. So make sure that you put it in a shaded area that's getting bright and direct light. And then I fertilize this plant once a month with a Spoma organic fertilizer. And that's um, a great choice if you want to feed your plants. And then I let the soil dry out completely before I water it again. I heard that the blooms on this type of Hoya have a chocolate scent, but at the moment there is no scent. I think they have to open up for you to be able to smell the perfume that comes from the flowers. And another thing you have to keep in mind is Hoyas typically bloom on older uh, vines. So let me just show you how long this vine is. It's not the longest vine on this plant, but it is a relatively good size. So let me just zoom out and I'll show you. So the vine starts right there. And then there's the bloom. So it's not like an incredibly long vine, but it is definitely not short. I'm sure it's like maybe three or four years old if I were to guess. Um, so you do have to be patient if you're buying a younger plant. I also do have some Hoyas inside that are also about to be in bloom and I'll go inside and I'll try to give you some shots of that as well. But they're in like Eastern exposed windows. Another one is in a Southern exposed window, but it's kind of off to the side. So it's not getting harsh direct sunlight all day, probably about three to four or less hours of direct sunlight. But when your plants are inside, the sun is not as intense, so you can get away with putting them in a southern exposed window. It's just when they're outside, the sun is very harsh and it can definitely burn the leaves. So make sure you stay tuned because I will be updating you once these buds open. But they still are so cute when they're closed. I love them. It was totally worth the wait. It probably took about a month from this developing the peduncle to getting the flowers at this point. So you definitely have to be patient, but I definitely think it's worth it. This is my first time seeing a Hindu rope in bloom and it's just gorgeous. So now I'm gonna head on inside. I'm gonna try to show you my Hoya David Coming Eye. It's also in bloom. Well, it's about to bloom. Um, and I'll show you that plant and just the conditions inside in order to get your plant to bloom. All right, so let's head on inside and I'll show you that plant. So this is my Hoya David Coming Eye that I keep inside. It's receiving Eastern light, so it's just getting morning sun. It does have two peduncles that will be producing flowers soon. So the first peduncle has unopened buds, so I'll definitely try to film that. The thing with David Coming Eye is the blooms are way smaller than my Hindu rope plant. They're even like smaller than one leaf. So I'm hoping I'll be able to focus in on the blooms, um, but we'll see what happens once it finally, once they finally open up. But yeah, I do basically very similar care to my plant outside. So all my Hoyas get fertilized once a month. I let the soil dry out completely before I water them again. You definitely want to be providing your plants with bright light so that they will be stimulated to bloom for you. And this plant is also a little bit older. The stems are a little bit longer. So I think that is why it's blooming for me this summer. So if you guys have any comments, just leave them down below. I love to answer any questions you might have. And be sure to subscribe to the channel and press the little bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.